YouTube, what's going on? Wanye Films, back with another tutorial. Today, I'm gonna show you how I go about editing my photos in Adobe Lightroom. If you look over here on the screen, you will see that I selected two photos to edit for this video right here. All right, so what I did was purchase some Enola Gay smoke grenades, as you see right here in the photo. These are them right there. I'm planning on using these in the next music video that I shoot. You know, I said I went and I got some and I got some photos with it before I use them, you know? So these are the photos that I, I, I am happy with. I, I took a bunch of them, but I narrowed it down to two so I can show you guys uh, how I go about editing. And uh, yeah, let's jump right into it. All right, so, you know, as always, you go ahead and get your Lightroom program up set it up how you want it you know you bring your your photos in this is how you do it right here you just go to import you select your photos wherever they're at these are all my old photos but yeah so then you go ahead and you import them into the program and then you just go over here to develop all right so yeah i guess i'll start with the, this one first normally what i do is go down to the bottom Enable profile corrections. Click that. I hit that too. All right, so yeah, that's what I do always. I always go on to the bottom right here. I click these two things first, and then I go back up to the top. And uh, the next thing I usually do is come on over here. And uh, you know, I just find a preset, whichever preset that I um, think looks good is what I apply to it. And you know, your presets you always want to uh, use your presets as a starting point, you don't ever want to just put a preset on your photo and think that you're done because, uh, in all reality, you're not done, you need some tweaking. And yeah, that's uh, that's normally how you do it. Yeah, let's look around, see which one I like best. Ooh, I don't know. Black and white? Do I want to do black and white for this one? I like that black and white. I'll come back to it. All right, so then for this one, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this one, I'm gonna do forest. I like the way this one looks for some reason. Uh, with this photo, I, I set this photo up a certain way. Um, if you notice, uh, the sun is hitting right over here on this side, and I wanted half of it. You see where my head is? I wanted half of it to be in the shadows and the other half to be in the highlights, like in, in, the, in the sun. So uh, it worked out perfectly. I love the way this shot came out. Uh, what I might do right now is crop it. I think I'm gonna crop this, see how it looks. If not, if I don't like how it looks, I'll just go back to regular. And what I usually, uh, the, the aspect ratio I usually do for this is I'll hit five here and then four here okay let's see yeah that's how i want it just like that i don't know it looks off to me now i feel like i should be over a little more what do you guys think i'm gonna go ahead and undo it See, like, I think it should be like, yeah, like that. There we go. That looks better. <laughs> All right. Also, another thing that I like about this photo, if you look in the back, you can see my shadow right there. I love it. I love it. So, I don't know. Let me see if I bring the highlights up a little bit. Bring them down, bring them up. Uh, I think I like it right there. I'll leave it like that. Let's see the shadows, bring the shadows up a little bit. Hmm. Yeah, I think I like that. Maybe about right there. It's basically just tweaking it to how you, however you think it looks right to you. You know, whatever your style is, um, I'm just, you know, going through, maybe add some contrast. For the clarity, I think the clarity is fine like that. You never want to go too high with it. You don't want to overdo it. I'll probably leave this at like 19. 
maybe 17. I'll leave it at 17. The vibrance, I'm gonna bring the vibrance down. And maybe bring the saturation up. Yeah, like that. Just for uh, shits and giggles, guys, I'm gonna bring the saturation down, bring the vibrance up. I think I'll leave it like this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna leave it like that. All right, so for the curve right here. All right, so for the darks, I brought the darks up a little bit. Maybe bring the shadows down just a bit. You know, it's just, it's, it's basically how you want it to be. You see, you can adjust the hue. I don't really like to adjust the hues on them, you know. Um, that's just my, that's just my style. Like, I don't, uh, saturation, you know, you can bring it up or down. See, like that. Uh, for this, I'm going to, I'm going to leave the saturation for the red about right there um i don't know do i want it you know maybe i'll maybe i will do it like this right here make the red pop a little bit you know um the orange same thing i'm gonna i'm gonna bring the saturation up for the orange um the green there's not much green in this photo at all i'll just leave the green down uh, blue, same thing, not much aqua, if any. Okay, so with the blue, I can see the blue in my pants. Um, I'll probably, I'll probably bring the blue, the blue down, just like that. There's purple in the scene. Um, I'm definitely going to bring the purples down as well as hmm, I'll leave the magentas like right here alright and then for the luminance also let's see see if you, you play with it like that um I'm just gonna leave that like that. The orange. I'm gonna leave the orange like that. Green. Like I said, there's not much green in it. There's a little bit of green right over here. Don't know if you could see it. Watch. See that? Yeah. So I'm, gonna bring, I'm gonna leave the green down. Aqua. Now I'm seeing the aqua move in my pants. I'm gonna leave it like that. Blue. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm I'm leave it like that. Purple. I'm gonna leave the purple up. And then the magenta down. And that's that. I don't really play too much with split tuning, but I'll show you what it does. See how it changes the, basically like the temperature. I don't like that. At all. I'm gonna leave it as is, just like that. I mean, that's not too bad either. That's cool like that. I'll leave it like that. Sharpening, I bring the sharpening up just a little bit. Sometimes I'll put in that noise reduction. I mean, other than that, uh, make sure there's no, I don't really like to do vignetting, but this is what it looks like if you do. But on some, some photos, I just, I don't like that. So I'll leave that alone. Grain. I don't want too much grain in the photo. I'll leave that back down. Put it at like four. Play with this a little bit. You see how it shifts the color. Mm, I 
think I like that, guys. What do you think? See, it bring down the saturation of it. Maybe I'll leave it like right, right there. What do you guys think? I think I think uh, I think I got a match here. Red, bring the red up. No bueno. No thank you. Bring the saturation down in it. Nah. If anything, just maybe a tad bit. I think that's it, guys. I don't want to go too over any any photo that looks uh, over edited. It's just uh, not something that. I like to personally uh, put out there like that. So, I mean, for the most part, image is uh, image is sharp. I like it. I like it a lot. So, uh, yeah, that's how I go about editing my photos. Really, uh, this is my style right here. I'll I'll tweak it to different. You know, I'll tweak it differently in other photos. But uh, for the most part, this is how I go about doing it. And then also, like I told you, I do have another photo over here. Uh, when I post photos back to back, I like to keep, you know, the same uh, tone in the photos. I like to keep the same tone in the photos uh, on whatever photos that I'm doing back to back. So uh, easy way to do this is to just hit copy. And then what that does is just copies everything that you just did and then take it on over to the other photo and then paste it on there. And uh, nine times out of 10, depending on if you are in a different location or uh, the sunlight change, what you're gonna have to do from there is just uh, adjust to uh, the right settings for the second photo, which most likely I'm gonna have to do that. Not all the time, but uh, on this one, I'm definitely gonna have to go through and uh, try to match it up just a little bit more. I'm looking right now. I wanna, I wanna bring up the orange a little more. There we go. I want that orange to pop. There we go. There we go. I'm, 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 I'm satisfied now. That's how I want it. So I'll go back. I'll hit copy. And then, um, first I'm gonna go ahead and export this photo. I'm looking though. See, I, I always, I always go back before I export. I always go back and look. Now I'm just being picky, but the hat to me, the hat looks a little. Honestly, that's just me being picky. I need to stop that. All right, I'm exporting now, guys. Let's go ahead and just hit export. You want to make sure that when you export. You're exporting at the right uh, JPEG 1080 by 1080. You want your quality at 100, and that's pretty much uh, all you have to do for exporting. Make sure you put it in. I, I just, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm not going to get too deep into it. I just put it in uh, the last folder that I was using for uh, a video that I posted on YouTube. Yeah. That's it. That's what I put it in. So I hit export and it's already exported into that. But normally what I do is I make a specific uh, folder on my external hard drive and put all the photos in there. I'm about to run out of time too. So let me hurry this up. Here's this photo. Go over here. Hit paste. Honestly, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I wouldn't do too much more to it. Yeah, that's it. I'm happy with that. Be good. That's it. See, like I said, sometimes you have to uh, tweak it. Other times, it's good to go. That's it, guys. That's how I edit my photos. Um, and then, as you know, you'll be seeing the... If you follow me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. That's Wanye Phones. I'll leave a link in the description below. Yeah, you'll see these photos up very soon. I'm going to tag Enola Gay in it. And then, you know, depending on... They tagged me before, like I, I tagged them before and then they tagged me back with my photos and you know, they, they get, they got, they got some, uh, they get feedback over there on their page. So hopefully they, uh, put me back up again and, uh, yeah, that's it. 
Uh, I hope you guys liked this tutorial. If you did, go ahead, smash that like button. Also, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out, guys.